We've just moved to the countryside. I'm Jack, this is my family. Jack of all trades, master of none, I love a good project. Hot tubs, pools, cabins and more. Oh, and of course a good barbecue. Our ambitions are big, our budgets, well, not so much. Join us, building it all, one project at a time. I've got me a porky hankering. We got ourselves a pig, just picked that up. Killed this morning. It's about 48 kilos. So I think a good size for the pit. Here he is. Lovely specimen, we're taking the head off, taking the trotters off. I've butterflied it down the middle, which basically means cutting the spine so it will fold open. Um, start it belly side down, flip it over, aiming for a 12 hour cook. Fits perfectly, can he wait? So plan with the cook, gonna probably get it on about 7 a.m. tomorrow. Gonna aim for a 12 hour cook. Just getting things set up, getting the grill sorted, making sure we're ready for the morning. Get some wood cut, prepped, sawn, so we're not rushing around in the morning with a sore head, because no doubt I'm gonna get super porky excited tonight. And I'm not gonna sleep very well, but I cannot wait for tomorrow. Well, good morning, everyone. I've got some serious porky hankerings in the night, but the fire is on. It's about 7 a.m. Ready for a pig. Let's get it on. a pig it's a bit early to be doing this we're gonna get some salt some pepper on him oh. get him down on there there he is beautiful so what we're doing getting a whole load of salt on this pig we're gonna go pretty simple just salt pepper no fancy rubs I already put some salt on this yesterday. There's a lot of meat, it can certainly take it. We'll get him turned over, we'll cook him belly side down, so I butterflied him down the spine, opened him up. So he's gonna sit in there. Our fire is coming on nicely. Get some more wood in, get it up to temperature. And we'll get some cooking done. Pig is in, fits a treat. Let's get this lid down, let's get cooking. What's going on, Louis Biggles? Um, I'm chopping wood for the pig. So it's now 9 a.m. Louis is cutting logs. The fire is going nicely. Wood is a bit damp from all the rain last night. Temperatures are looking good. About 130, 140 Celsius. A little bit of a variation, but I think that will steady off as things warm up and the blocks start heating up. Flu is looking good. 
to keep going. Second load of logs in, we're about four hours into the cook. Pig is looking awesome. Come and take a look at this. Beautiful, smelling nice. Just let these get some heat into them, put the lid back on. And we should be good for another couple of hours at least. over you might have seen that earlier and just covering the end now obviously we've got slightly higher temperatures this end but I've got all the shoulder and head this end hands and legs this end so these can take more heat so it's all going to plan it is looking good really happy let's keep cooking Yeah, boy. soon we're gonna leave it here to rest we've got some good temperatures 73 76 at the top a lovely color so we're gonna let this rest here take it off strip it down get the crackling over here on the grill happy days gonna be a fun evening at spicy clouds Dave, what your reflections are? What would you do different? I think I cook too much. <laughs> I think I need some gas. <laughs> need more gas. <laughs> what about your meat? Loved it. Perfect. Spot on. What about your hog roaster? A hog roaster works a treat. Can't go wrong. How are you going to clean it? Pressure washer. <laughs> Have you got one? No. <laughs> Industrial pressure washer. <clears throat> oh, 
epic night at Spicy Clive's with my wife. Happy days, people. Another seriously good night down at Spicy Clive's. Pork was good. I feel my porky hankering. I'm a little bit drunk. We've had a good night. Happy days, people. Good evening.